has completed all flight tests necessary for military-type certification. MTC for the JAS-3090-F-3090 Gripen E-Fighter in the air-to-air -air role. The approval will allow the air forces of both Brazil and Sweden to become official operators of the type, a status currently held exclusively by Saab. The Saab 39 is available as a single and two-seater. In addition, Gripen meets the requirements for high reliability, easy maintenance, and universal deployment. In particularly cold weather, the aircraft can be brought into the air quickly after a comparatively short warm-up phase with the auxiliary power unit. Even on difficult ground conditions, takeoff and landing are no major problem for experienced pilots. Among the most recent tests was the all-important demonstration of an end-to-end -end firing of the MBDA Meteor long-range air-to-air missile, which will be the Gripen E's primary air defense weapon. Taking place around the end of May slash early June 2023, the firing was conducted at the Vitzel Range in northern Sweden and involved a launch from around 16,500 feet altitude against an aerial target. The launch aircraft was the second series production machine, 6002, which fired a meteor round equipped with telemetry systems and a command destruction capability. The Saab JAS-39 Gripen is a single-engine multi-role fighter aircraft manufactured by the Swedish company Saab. The single-jet Delta Wing, the two wings form a triangle is one of the lightweights of its profession. It cannot keep up with two-engine competitors. The Gripen has other talents, though. Even in winter, for example, makeshift tracks, motorways, and unpaved roads are sufficient for takeoff and landing. It is also very reliable and easy to maintain. With more than 30 aircraft at various stages of production, there are currently 14 Gripen E's flying on test duties, including the three prototypes at three operating locations. The functions of developmental and operational test and evaluation are intermingled where possible to maximize the benefits of flight time. The Gripen E's unique segregated avionics architecture allows the upgrading of mission systems without affecting flight critical functions, in turn allowing development to proceed rapidly and iteratively and concurrently across test aircraft and rigs in both countries. Johann Sencher Toft, Saab's vice president and head of business unit Gripen Design, commented that new software releases were being test flown every four weeks on average. A defense white paper is due to be published next year that is expected to add more detail, but according to Air Force Chief Major General Carl Johan Edstrom, the retention of between 40 and 60 C slash DS is likely for service until around 2035. In order to maintain the C slash D's relevance until the time, remarked Edstrom, two or three major block upgrades would be required, likely to include an ESO radar and new weapons. He also noted that the JAS-39 D2 Cedars would not be needed for training for the JAS-39 E fleet, with aircrew progressing direct to the fighter from the advanced training syllabus. The Gripen can also be admired in the static display. 